That fire also forcing hundreds of people to evacuate. One of the communities affected is Superior, and that is where Team 12's Michael Doudna is tonight. Michael? Yeah, guys, some of those fleeing the fire, well, traveled down 60 right behind me. And as you can see, well, right now the path back home is closed and is now a symbol for those who wonder when or if they will be able to return home. You don't know about tomorrow? Stressed out, worried, anxious. More than 70,000 acres burned, forcing hundreds of families to flee their homes. You know, just waiting and waiting. Raymond Daniels' family was one of those fleeing, finding a temporary home with his adult daughter as communities are opening up to those in need. Makes you realize that life is precious and family, they got your back all the way. Rita Martinez knows firsthand. She opened up her home to a friend who had to evacuate from top of the world. She does not know if her trailer is there. So far, officials say the fire has burned down five structures, including this one. There's our little wagon. House Speaker Rusty Bowers, longtime family home, was caught in the middle of the fire and is now left as a shell. Oh, desolation. But hundreds of firefighters are working to make sure that they contain the fire and reduce desolation to a minimum. As communities throughout Arizona are opening up their doors to help those get through this latest fire. God bless the firemen yeah. and the firefighters and everybody who has anything to do with helping us. With God's help, we're going to come through this. Yeah, fire officials tell us that they do not expect to see any new evacuations over the next 12 hours or so. But on the other end of the spectrum, when people can return home, well, a timeline for that is really anyone's guess. We're in Superior. Michael Doudna, 12 News.